Now, how did this project come about, and what exactly are you doing in this as an assassin? Well, <laughs> killing you know? people, you know, as you do as an assassin. Some assassins kind of chill out. They have a, like, other life that they get involved in. I mean, are we seeing some of that here? Or? Uh, I start off as pretty much strictly an assassin, and then I enter into a, um, a struggle-type relationship with my apparent conscience. Now, are you obviously doing all your own stunts in the film? What is that like to be an actress and a stunt woman that gets to come in and do it all at once in just one package? I mean, that's pretty special. We don't see that too often. I keep talking about my package. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just making. Yeah. Um, uh, do we have a scoop here? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me more about your package. <laughs> when are we gonna unwrap it? This guy. Was that the wrong thing to no, say? Guy, seriously, no. Um, no, I love the whole being able to do. The, the whole package. Uh, You're the one that brought it up. Just I know, I know, I know. It's terrible, and I'm regretting it ever since. Um, no, it's really <laughs> satisfying. Not <laughs> mine. No, I really enjoy having both sides of the character in my control. Is really satisfying. Sort of. I mean, there's two things at risk of starting to ramble. Is um, being both the face and the action of it means that there's just a lot. You know, it saves time, but there's a lot of freedom you can put wherever the shot is going to look most. Um, is going to be have most impact. You can put the camera there. You don't have to try and avoid my face. You don't have to try and shoot out or make sure you do get. You know what I mean? It's like so. There's a lot of freedom. It's really liberating for directors and myself. And the other part is, it's just fun for me to be able to own both sides of the, the whole character as a you know sort of. I can then bring her, her mannerisms into the fights, and I can bring my fight style into my manners, my character's mannerisms, and it's just really satisfying having the whole package. <laughs> Jeez, package. Now, what was your favorite? What's your favorite movie, package? What? I've seen package. Have you seen that yet? <laughs> I loved package. I loved it too. You were in that for just a little cameo. Yeah, yeah. When you broke out of the package. It was a, it was a mini package. Yes. Now, what was your favorite part of filming this movie? Because it looks like it was a lot of fun to make. Uh, oh, those questions are hard. Yeah. No, it was a tremendous amount of fun, and I totally just said tremendous. I don't think I've ever used that word. Um, it was a tremendous amount of fun, yes. Tremendous Quite. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Quite. No. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, my favorite part of the movie was of Angel of Death. I mean, there were so many parts. I loved the action. I loved the... Because heaps of it was also not just the fun side of it, but it was really challenging for me. It was new. I had to drop all the guards I normally have at work, which is you're a stunt woman, so you don't cry on set. You don't show anyone that you're in pain you don't you know and suddenly my character requires that I do show that not just cry but do it in my undies in front of a whole crew of people you know I was like wow that's challenging for me but uh, so there was heaps of things about it that were amazing the crew was amazing the cast was amazing I know I sound like those boring people who just rave about everything on it but well, no, you really caught my ear and I'm sure a lot of your fans out there in this film you're sitting in your underwear crying I think a lot of nerds here at Comic Con could actually identify with that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel your pain, package. I feel your package. Your pain, package. Oh, now it's getting dirty. Okay. Uh, you feel my pain, package. Backtrack, 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 backtrack. Um, <clears throat> yes, challenging it was. It was challenging. It was challenging. Yeah, I hear this. Yeah. <laughs> now, they're talking about bringing this back as a series, maybe impossible feature film if that comes about. Are you planning on coming back more to do this? I mean, is this an exciting thing for you to be a part of this? Angel of Death or Comic-Con? No, Angel of Death. Yeah, no, I, I love this project. It's very personal to me because it was very much my first leading show after Death Proof, which was obviously sort of... You know, that was definitely my first one. I was playing myself. It's definitely still acting, but it was th this was sort of me really having to play someone different and carry a movie doing that. Um, <laughs> what now? You want to say package, don't you? I know. Yeah. Um, and I, I mean, I it's yeah, it's a passion project. <laughs> I'm like nervous. You're gonna start throwing a painful, passion a, a, a painful pain, project of a passion nice in a tidy package. I can't say that yet. Jeez. Too many peas. Um, no, I would happily do Angel. I would love to do Angel of Death too. I'm hoping for Angel of Death too. If it turns into a TV series, I would love to do that. If it turns into a feature, yeah. I mean, it's. I think it's a fantastic. Project. Okay. Well, thank you so much for taking time out. So